Hi everybody, I'm back and I'm ready to start planting my seeds. So I have two propagation trays here with my rock wool cubes. I just took tap water, I drenched them and these trays do not have any holes in them. Once they were drenched, I just let them sit in the excess water for about five minutes and then I drain the excess water off. So these are ready to go for seeds to go in them. I separated them into two different trays because I have my peppers, tomatoes, beans, and jalapenos in this tray. These are gonna need two seeds per cube. And I'm gonna use two seeds instead of just one in case one doesn't germinate. And if I luckily get two, I will remove the weakest one before I put it into my AeroSpring system because you just want one plant per cube. For these, um, the herbs, I'm gonna put six-ish seeds per cube. And for my lettuces, I'm gonna put about eight to 10 seeds per cube. Both of these are gonna go onto the heat mats and they're gonna be under the same light. I'm just gonna keep all the conditions the same for this first go around to see which plants are picky and which ones will just let me um, keep it all easy for myself. I also have a couple of dry erase boards that I have just marked which cube has which seeds so I can keep track of where everything is. So I'll, I'll put these in the basement for myself to reference. And um, so I'm gonna go ahead and plant my seeds now and then I'll meet you in the basement to get these set up under the heat, or on the heat mats and under the grow light. I found tweezers really helpful in planting the smaller seeds. Be sure to place the seed up against the side of the rock wool cube. I did not use any vermiculite as a covering over the seeds. Okay, we're down here in the basement and I have my seeds officially under the LED grow light and I am so excited to see which seeds actually sprout. So I have both of my trays here with the humidity domes on, with the vents completely closed. They're under the LED grow light here about 12 to 14 inches above the trays and they're both on a heat mat. I have both of my temperature and humidity monitors set up my basement runs about 70 to 72 degrees and already with these being under the light and on the heat mat for about 20 minutes now, my temp is already up to 83.7 degrees, which I think is great. I'm going to check my rock wool cubes about every one to two days and add water as necessary to the bottom of the tray and then the rock wool cubes will pull in the amount of water that they need. I do not intend to add any fertilizer at all to my water until these completely are sprouted and are start, starting to grow some adult leaves. So I will check in again with you all in the next few days as soon as one of these hopefully sprout. Hopefully I have at least half of these come to fruition. So. Follow along with me and we'll see what happens.